Northern California has produced some talented basketball players over the years. Most notably, all-time great Bill Russell. And more recently, Jason Kidd and Aaron Gordon. In Oakland, Bishop O'Dowd star Ivan Rab looks to be the next great player from the Bay Area. The best I've ever seen at the high school level, you know, except for, you know, Jay Kidd, you know, come out of this area. Just dominant, can affect the game in so many ways. I've never seen a basketball player that people are scared to go at. Like, literally, people will see the rim, drive at the rim, see Ivan, and dribble away from him. Um, can have a triple-double, a quadruple-double now. A lot of people describe me as athletic. Um, I finish well around the basket. I'm a good passer. And um, I agree with all those things, but I think um, things that people can notice more about my game is um, besides me being a good passer, um, I'm a good shot blocker. I'm trying to be more vocal on the basketball court. I'm just trying to work on every aspect of my game to become a whole all-around player. The six foot 10 inch forward is a consensus top 10 player in the 2015 class, and he's in discussion for the number one overall slot. But getting here hasn't been easy for Ivan and his family. Oakland has some rough areas, and Ivan saw some of it when he was younger. When he moved to Oakland with his mom and his brother, they all had to work together to get to a better situation. He has adjusted, you know, he's very smart. You know, growing up in the inner city, he knows where to go and where not to go. And that's, that's rare for a, a person of his, his stature um, and his, his young, his youth. Um, so, you know, he's moved to a nicer neighborhood now than where he used to live. Um, you know, when I took him home during his freshman year, a couple times we couldn't get to his block because the police were there and was, you know, blocked off. So he, he's seen some things. I worked three jobs and he basically had to help with my youngest son. And we just worked together almost as friends to um, pull through and get things done as a family. As the family's living situation improved, the next step for Ivan was improving as a student and basketball player. And it wasn't clear that Ivan was going to do that when he first showed up at Bishop O'Dowd. When I first met Ivan, we were playing pickup and I didn't want to play with him. Um, you know, he didn't hustle, he didn't get back. It wasn't fun, and you know, the maturity. You know, when we first started, you know, he had a, he, he struggled it academically. So Ivan has he's matured, you know, immensely. You know, he's the, the face of Odell, the spokesperson for Odell now. I had to develop that um, when I first got to school. It was a big transition coming from public school to private school, and um, Coach Lewis was just always on me, and I wanted to to relax, but really I couldn't because I was always behind because I just wasn't ready for the transition. And um, I, I slowly learned just to get in there and just knock out your homework, not only for that day, but for the, the, the days after, and just get ahead. Now, Ivan's grades and his game are in order, so much so that he's among the nation's elite recruits. One of his biggest thrills so far was playing for the USA under-16 and under-17 teams. It was really fun. Um, I think the best part, honestly, for me was making the team because there were so many guys that, that, um, that could have made the squad before, before me. Um, gold medal is probably second. I know that sounds odd, but just making the team, there were so many people that were just so good. and I thought I fit in well, but I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not because I wasn't sure how good I played. The young man who didn't even look like a good pickup game player a few years ago now has the attention of college coaches as well as other blue chip prospects. It's a stark contrast from when I didn't want to play with him. Now everybody wants to play with him, including me. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm so unselfish, but a lot of people tend to uh, want to be on my team, whether I'm at a basketball camp or I'm at the USA trial. It makes me feel good because um, there's other people who are really good too. And, and if you choose to be on my team, I must be doing something right. So I just continue to do what I'm doing. Several top programs are now in touch with Ivan to try to secure a commitment. One of them will get not only a good player, but a giving person who's willing to help out his friends or even total strangers. Coming from the background and just, you know, it being the two boys and I coming up, you know, he understands certain things. So he has like a cousin that was getting bullied in school. He showed up at his basketball game, signed autographs, and now, you know, Romello's doing wonderful things at school. Everybody likes him. He just goes out of the way to be a good kid and to do things for others. He's very caring, very giving. Last Thanksgiving, you know, his mom had made some extra plates and him and I went down to, you know, to the, the corner and, and gave some people who didn't have as fortunate lives as myself or Ivan, and he just said, here, let's give these, guys, give these people some food. You know, and it, there were no cameras, there were no newspaper, there was no one to film it. It was just Ivan being Ivan. Combine that giving heart with his ever-improving talent, and it's easy to see why coaches and players from across the nation want Ivan Rav on their team.